Hi, uh, so my name is Francisco, and uh, I actually had a question regarding uh, diversification. So I know your strategy is more of kind of like equity long value investing, um, but within like an ever changing world where industry trends might change or um, competitive advantages might disappear, um, what's your opinion on diversification? Like, um, how many stocks is enough for your portfolio, for example? Yeah, I mean, I think it depends. Uh, it depends on your degree of conviction. I mean, I would say very few of us can get to Munger's degree of conviction where two stocks are ninety-four uh, percent. But you know, uh, you know, Charlie Munger says that if if you owned uh, in a small town in America uh, the McDonald's franchise and the Ford dealership and the best office building in town and the best apartment building in town. Let's say those are the four assets you had and you could own fractions of them. So you may not be rich enough to own all four completely, but you could own 5% of a McDonald's or 7% of a Ford dealer or something like that. His perspective was that a portfolio uh, which had those four assets in a place like, let's say, Peoria, Illinois, middle of nowhere, uh, would be enough to make you quite wealthy over a lifetime. Uh, and and so, if if you if some person looked at that portfolio, they would say there's extreme geographic risk because everything is in one town, right? But you know, if you meet any entrepreneur in Irvine, uh, let's say some. Chinese couple running a small Chinese restaurant, uh, nearly all of their net worth is in one asset, uh, not even four assets, uh, in one town, right? And, and so that's probably even more risky than uh, what, what Munger suggested, Peoria, etc. So I think the, the answer on how many stocks or how many positions is a function of how well you know the companies and and how durable those modes are. And you are right that uh, over time, almost all modes erode. You know, almost all companies lose their competitive advantage. I mean, uh, the Ford dealership, uh, I don't know what that looks like in 20 years. Uh, you know, maybe 10 years it's okay, but 20, 25 years it may be fine. I can't tell. Um, uh, McDonald's might, might, might still be there, but we again, we don't know. You know, food is an area where if you get to things like what happened with Chipotle, uh, you, can, you can hit some, uh, some brick walls. So, uh, so I would say for the mere models like us, uh, not the mongers of the world, I think if you got to probably something like 10 stocks that you understood really well in a few different industries, uh, that's plenty. Uh, I don't think you should get to 50 stocks in a portfolio. I think that's not going to help you. Uh, but uh, something like you know, 10, 15, or 8 or something is probably a good number.